We're going to start off today, guys, finally, with a reaction video of multiple genres. I guess you could call this a Scare Baz episode. To be fair, Scare Baz is just, it's that channel in itself, like the Discord channel, has just more turned into people submitting things that I watch as a one off video. So if you've got something on YouTube uh, that you want me to watch, then be sure to join my Discord and pop it in there and maybe I'll watch it, but we're going to watch a, uh, four videos today, starting off with this one here, which is called You Are Not Safe Here. This is by Tar Bunny, and we're just going to jump straight into this. A short film by Tar Bunny. Okay, we're running up to the door. That's some horrible breath, man. Okay, so it's a bold little baby watching the TV. With no mouth, two big eyes. This is fantastic. Is there someone outside? What is that? So this little thing's being stalked? Okay. Ugh, Jesus. Oh, that's the sink. Okay, I thought this was something else. For some reason I thought this was... Like... What would... What did I think this was? Yeah, this looks like an arm there going up, and another arm underneath, and this is like a leg sticking out, or a foot. What the hell? Why is the water coming out that side? Oh, okay, yeah. Just all about perspective. What is that? What is that? You are not safe here. They are inside. They are inside. Do not be scared. Oh, God. Go to the basement. Down here. Okay. Well, there, is there something down there? You there. You are not safe here. Oh, Jesus. I have an exit. You must come with me. Yeah, this is a pedophile, man. Got kids, don't, don't go off with a strange man who says they know your parents, okay? Go through the cellar door. There is a house in the woods. I cannot assure your safety, but you can't stay here. Take this. It's just a pair of eyes. Okay. You are not safe here. God, where is that? Where are they safe then? Just shoot. Sh just you get a gun. Get an axe or something. Little did they know that the local pedophile lived in this house.
What was that? Right, so out of the frying pan and into the boiling pot. How was that? Into the fire. Hey, I, I'll make up my own. Out of the frying pan, into the mouse trap. Uh oh, slender. Okay, so what, is the kid dead? Did it die? I don't know. Oh, it's dead? They died? So what happened? Who di what, did the kid die or did the weird pedophile man die? It took the form of the kid. Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's weird. That was a very strange one, but that was Tab Bunny there, guys. Very strange animation style, but I guess that's what makes it unique. So next up is the Ed Dwight Paradox by Mr. Manticore. Uh, this is the latest video, I believe, from Mr. Manticore. And it's a continuation of the Nixon verse, I believe. And how Ed Dwight was shot in the head by a ray gun or something like that. I'm reporting now. Tell me. I'm reporting now. The following audio does not feature the voice of Ed Dwight. Tell me everything. So who is it then? I'm Dead reporting now. Tell me everything. Oh, okay. It's like AI. The Ed Dwight Paradox. Kind of looks like me. What are you on about? It's a horse. It can move owls, right? Queen to knight. So one thing I figured out from the last video, guys, of uh, Mr. Manticore was, I believe, uh, I don't know if this is right or not, but I think the, the, the last video was alluring to the fact that Frank Sinatra was one of these three people that Nixon made or whatever. I wanted to welcome them. I wanted to welcome all humans to our kingdom. We all could have been great together. We could have all been peaceful. Okay, so the the Lunarians or whatever they're called stole the English language. But my invitation was met with pain. A bright burning pain. I should have known. Their entire world is built on inequality. Even their peace equation is an inequality. Night. You are now blind. Deaf and mute, you cannot taste or touch. What? As long as you stay on Earth, none of your senses will return. But you can give everything back. Our prophecy guarantees this. Wait, what? So here's the horse. Join our kingdom and become a prince. Run along. Become a prince. By me, rule with our king. Okay, so that's the king, the Crescent King. Is that it, Dwight? Alcatraz Checkmate. Alcatraz... Alcatraz Matter attacks Lunarian bodies and destroys cloud ships. Human language is restored after nine months. What the fuck? The horse is the dude from the house. No, the, the dude from the house was the Crescent King, and the Crescent King's, like, the leader of the Lunarian people. 
Alcatraz is a different thing. In the in the um in the Dean verse, Alcatraz was multiplying and it slowly took over America. Like everything was replicated apparently. And I think that's what that was showing. Grief made him a monster. Okay, I think this is still in reference to um the D-Day night, was it? Oh my god. Oh, it's the Crescent King. You will not stop crying. I, was it? It wasn't the Crescent King who threw that woman off of the Empire, uh, the Chrysler Building, right? That was the D-Day night, and they're separate people. The last son of Alcatraz turned into Jesus, who then turned into uh, the House, who then turned into the Crescent King, and the D-Day night was someone separate. is extremely confusing. The Horned Serpent Lives. Oh! Oh, okay, so this isn't the Crescent King. This is the Horned... This is the last son... Hang on, no! That is the last son of Alcatraz, isn't it? So, the Horned Serpent was George Washington in the last, in the Dean verse, that lived underneath America. And then, I believe, the um, Freedom Statue and these this amalgamation of, like, Giza glassed soldiers or something had a fight which erupted the whole world, released the mass serpent, and that's where the last son of Alcatraz came from. This is... Honestly, saying this out loud, it, it, I sound like I belong in some kind of mental facility. Oh, here he is. There's Nixon, the boy. Look how pale he is. So th there will be no physical altercation. Okay. I will not bring about an end like that of my own world. The only way to destroy the Crescent King is to render him as fiction. Wait, what? The same way your mythology and urban legends to the power of gods and monsters. Oh, okay. You will have no authority once no one believes you. I guess that kind of makes sense. When you when you stop believing in a god, it stops giving them power. I guess it stops giving it stops giving them power over you specifically. But when multiple people stop believing, it just sends them into like mythology, basically. I must also render myself this fiction. I have evolved myself too deeply. I like your world. I will be a necessary sacrifice. No one will feel pain. No one will be killed. This world will be fictionalized. Wow. So they're just gonna... Yeah, it's the Lunarian... The, the Lunarian Queen. So what? They're... they're... 
they're turning the, the this universe into fiction so that it doesn't exist. The Nixon verse. Mr. Manticore presents the Nixon verse. Art by Ed Dwight, featuring the last son, the knight, the queen of Lunarians, and much more. So this is the Crescent King. That's the queen. Oh, the knight was the D-Day knight, right? And that makes sense at the beginning, actually, now, because the Lunarian obviously approached the knight, and then the knight kind of... I don't know. Help me. So Ed Dwight was what? A freaking... Oh, here we go. This is what happened to Ed Dwight, who in this... Ed Dwight did not blast himself. Ed Dwight in the... Because uh, apparently in real life, Ed Dwight wanted to be a astronaut, but because of racial problems, I guess, he was rejected, I think, and became a sculptor instead. Um, it was a cover story. It was Nixon who killed Ed Dwight. Jesus. Nixon was no god. He was not even a man. What was he? Nixon was only one of many survivors. What, from Dean Verse? He did what we all secretly wish to do, but cannot. Nixon used his power to erase history. What? Nixon erased the past. Ed Dwight was twice the god that Nixon could ever be. He was bold. He was kind. He was good. In our world, Ed Dwight never went to the moon. Instead, he creates monuments. In our world, Ed Dwight preserves the past. Wow, the arc just, the, the, the story just... Okay. Thank you for visiting the Nixonverse. Come again soon. What is that in the background? Okay. This just blows my brain, in honesty. It's, um, it's something else. And I'm... See, I'm not the kind of... Little I love you. Honestly, it stunlocks them. Try it with your cat, guys. If you've got a cat, just sing in like an, a deep kind of opera tone. But yeah, that was confusing. I'm not the kind of guy to react. Like, no, I'm not the kind of guy to kind of piece together what this is. I'm the guy who just watches it at face value and goes, well, that was fucking weird. Uh, right, here we go. So that was Mr. Manticore. Next video is Backrooms Recovered Tape by Stupid Studios. So here we go. Okay, camera's rolling. What the hell? <laughs> what were they filming? Okay, just fell through. Fantastic. Doesn't even question it. So, oh yeah, well this is my life now. You hit the gritty. to begin a fortnight dance. I love, I just love how they're not questioning it. Shouldn't like, I don't know what, is there a br It was just there, it was just there. 
It was stick bugging him. You see, it was just chilling. I love it. The, the lack of response as well, just... Spider was just chilling, man. He was having a great time. It's going to be loud. Watch it, guys. Three, two... Three. Yep. Oh, it was right behind him. He's mute. No, he's not. He was saying earlier. He was like, hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Anybody there? Anybody there? Oh... I'll do the voice from guys. Oh, how did I get stuck here again? Oh, always getting stuck in places like this. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I really hope I get home for dinner. Mom was making mac and cheese. Mm. Oh, I can really go for a pizza right now. Oh, God. So... Take it nice and slow. Hello? Anyone there? Oh my god, I shit. I shit my pants. Hey, where is he now? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he came back. Okay, he's back. Nice. Here we go. So that was Stupid Studios with backrooms recovered tape and uh oh the camera came back got it uh uh this last one is called can you tell the time by craner grizzy bow tv here we go Susalina delgado sus okay stop it now yeah 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 was this dorko Selena Delgado. Is this like a trailer for something? Tell the time it's a date. Can you tell the time it's a date? I don't know. Well, this is obviously part of something bigger. But yeah, that was that was. Can you tell the time by Kreiner Grizz? I don't, I'm not going to say the name. I'm going to absolutely massacre it. But there we go, guys. Truly shocking unsolved mysteries. No, that that was um everything for today. Wow, for this video. And there we go. Fantastic stuff.